NCAA tournament ever played has many, many, many storylines. Coach K's final tournament, certainly one of the major storylines that we'll be following this year. Pick a storyline that stands out to you. I tell you what, the Gonzaga Bulldogs, they've been knocking on this championship door for a bit. I think they're going to win it this season. And if that happens, Greg, they will be the first number one AP-ranked team entering the tournament to cut down the nets. And I think they've got the material, the focus, the resolve, everything they need to make that happen. And they could potentially be playing his former assistant coach, Tommy right. Lloyd, the head coach at Arizona. And one thing that's never happened in the NCAA tournament is a first-year coach has never won it when he's coached a full season. Steve Fisher in 1989 took over for Michigan right at the start of the NCAA tournament, but it's never been the case with a first-year coach, Tommy Lloyd. He's never even been a head coach before. He's my national coach of the year, and Arizona would be the first Pac-12 champ since... Uh, well, uh, 97, 97, 97, 97, 97, took the down too soon. Yeah. 97 <laughs> when Arizona went. Right. There's a storyline. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. So a huge part of the fun of March Madness, filling out and following your bracket. Some tips. Stay away from the 16 seed, which just has one UMBC win in 144 games against the one seed. Historically speaking, the 13 seed doesn't appear to be a good pick, but they have gone five and seven over the last three tournaments. And that 8-9 game, we say it all the time. <laughs> Every time it comes up, it's a toss-up. Let's take one more look at the bracket, starting with the upper left, where Gonzaga is the number one overall seed. What stands out to you, Seth? Well, just a really high-powered bracket. And, uh, you know, I love the potential matchup of Duke and Michigan State. That would be the Legends Club, although I think Davidson is the dangerous opponent there. But I think it's a high-powered Sweet 16 color we're looking at with Gonzaga, Arkansas, Texas Tech, and Duke. And Texas Tech is a very, very dangerous team in this region. I agree. I'm locked into the 12 seed, New Mexico State. I think this is a dangerous team. I love UConn because they've got great upside potential. But New Mexico State is a dangerous team because right, of how they score and defend. All right, let's move down the left side to the east bracket. Mark? Yeah, you take a look, Baylor, obviously the number one. See, again, I mentioned it earlier, but these 8-9 matchups, because these are really strong 8-9 teams across the bracket, in my opinion, that means potential problems and landmines for the number one seeds that they're going to advance. And then you go down the rest of the way. I look at that Yale Bulldog team. Purdue has such size up front, but Yale is a team with Azar Swain who can knock down perimeter shots, and they play bigger than they are up front, and they've got great balance across the board offensively it, i like that matchup it, for um yale potentially if we get P purdue and texas in the second round that's one of the best offenses against one of the best defenses in the country and i mentioned st mary's they beat gonzaga and that was no fluke they've had a fantastic year randy bennett's got an old crew international guys who are skilled as i said i think they will beat ucla and baylor two of last year's final four participants in this tournament all right let's jump to the top right now seth who do you have an eye on in the south bracket well, I've mentioned uh, the Chattanooga mock, so guys, don't let me down over there. But I, I, again, I think it's clear sailing for Arizona, and I'm glad Clark doesn't uh, pay attention to my picks because the fighting sister jeans are going to take down your Buckeyes there in the first round. Well, they very well could, but if the Buckeyes get healthy, I think they advance. And then Colorado State, Michigan, terrific matchup there. Colorado State has one of the best players in the country in David Roddy, so that's a real good matchup to lock into. All right, and down to the bottom right, which has Kansas as its top seed crystal ball time for them yeah you take a look here Creighton has played really well but again I talk about these eight nine matchups a great off really good offensive team Ryan Hawkins has been great for Creighton scoring the basketball San Diego State they turn people's water off defensively either one of those teams in a second round matchup with Kansas would be um, pretty pretty tough sled I love the stylistic matchup San Diego State plays slow Creighton wants to get out and go yep. Iowa likes to get out and go. Providence wants to beat you up. Wisconsin slows you down. Auburn speeds you up. I've always said the slower team has an advantage in those matchups. Well, and again, Jacksonville State doesn't necessarily want to slow it down. They've got three-point shooting. They've got presence inside. This is a this is an interesting matchup oh, for a 215. They you don't get, see that happen often. Um, I haven't picked the jet up oh. later on. But I like, the, I like their chances to test okay. the Tigers. Hey, yes. We're getting closer. Moment of truth time now. We're going to ask Seth who is in his final four and then who wins it all. We know what happens, right? I say it here and then it happens in the tournament sure. every year. <laughs> I've got Gonzaga coming out of the West. I've got Kentucky in the East, Arizona in the South, and Wisconsin is my li little bit of a sleeper. Johnny Davis, no relation. He's going to bail them out and send them uh, into the final four over Kansas. And these guys are going to hate playing this game. They're not just friends, Tommy Lloyd and Mark Few. They are brothers, but it is the protege who beats Wow, wow. And the Arizona Wildcats are going to be your you national champ. You took a look at my sheet. It did I? Like, yeah, you did because you've okay. got three of the same teams and I've just got a different big 10 team. 
I've got oh, wow. Gonzaga coming out of the West. I've got Kentucky as well, Arizona. But I went with my sleeper outside of the top four. Seat Same two. The Iowa Hawkeyes. So you look at the championship game, I too see the Wildcats being there against the Bulldogs. And it's time for Gonzaga to finish it off. And this, I think they this will. This is no fun. No fist fight tonight. <laughs> <laughs>